Hello everybody, today I'm going to read to you page 3 of Stone Fox. A dog was sleeping in the front porch. Come on, searchlight, little Willie cried out. The dog jumped to its feet and together they ran down the road. Searchlight was a big black dog. She had a white spot on her forehead the size of a silver dollar. She was an old dog, actually born on the same day as little Willie, which was over 10 years ago. That's an old dog. Dogs that are that old probably won't survive that much longer. A mile down the road, they came to a small log cabin surrounded by trees. Doc Smith was sitting in a, a rocking chair under one of the trees, reading a book. Doc Smith, little Willie called out. He was out of breath. Come quick. What seems to be the matter, Willie? The doctor asked, continuing to read. Doc Smith had snow white hair and wore a long black dress. Her skin was tan and her face was covered in wrinkles. Grandfather won't answer me, little Willie said. Probably just another trick, Doc Smith replied. Nothing to worry about. But he's still in bed. Doc Smith turned the page and con continued to read. How late did you two stay up last night? We went to bed early, real early. No singing or music or anything. Doc Smith stopped reading. Your grandfather went to bed without playing his harmonica? She asked. Little Willie nodded. What's What does this have to do with his harmonica? Huh. Doc Smith shut her book and stood up. Hitch up Rex for me, Willie, she said. I'll get my bag. Rex was Doc Smith's horse. He was a handsome palomino. Little Willie hitched Rex to the wagon, then rode back to Grandfather's farm. Searchlight ran ahead, leading the way and barking. Searchlight enjoyed a good run. Grandfather was just the same. He hadn't moved. Searchlight put her big front paws up on the bed and rested her head on Grandfather's chest. She licked his beard, which was full of tears. Doc Smith proceeded to examine Grandfather. She used just about everything in her little black, black bag. What's that for, little Willie asked. What are you doing now? Why should you ask so many questions, Doc said. Grandfather says it's good to ask questions. Doc Smith pulled a long silver object from the doctor's bag. What's that for, little Willie asked. Hush! Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry. When Doc Smith finished her examination, she put everything back into her little black bag. Then she walked over to the window and looked out at the field of potatoes. After a moment, she asked, How's the crop this year, Willie? Grandfather says it's best ever. Doc Smith rubbed her wrinkled face. What's wrong with him? Little Willie asked. Do you owe anybody money? She asked. No, Little Willie answered. What's wrong? Why won't you tell me what's wrong? That's just it, she said. There's nothing wrong with him. You mean he's not sick? Medically, he's healthy as an ox. Could live to be a hundred if he wants to. I don't understand, Little Willie said. Doc Smith took a deep breath. Then she began. It happens when a person gives up gives up on life for the, whatever reason. Starts up here in the mind first, then it spreads to the body. It's real sickness, all right, and there's no cure except the person's own mind. I'm sorry, child, but it appears that your grandfather just doesn't want to live anymore. Little Willie was silent a long time before he spoke. But what about fishing and the rodeo and turkey dinners. Doesn't he want to do those things anymore? Grandfather shut his eyes and tears rolled down his cheeks and disappeared into his beard. I'm sure he does, Doc Smith said, putting her arm around Little Willie. It must be something else. Little Willie stared at the floor. I'll find out. I'll find out what's wrong with and make it better. You'll see. I'll make Grandfather want to live again. And Searchlight barked loudly. <laughs>